Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is a beast. They're going to nerf the crap out of this. I can see it already. All right, so let's talk about these flaming comets that are rolling down from the sky. You get three brutes at the start of every match, as you can see here. And they're always present on the minimap until someone picks them up. So this is going to be a review video, basically, of the brute. I'm going to show you, number one, how to pilot it and some tips and tricks for using it. And number two, and more importantly, I'm going to show you how to counter them. The camos look spectacular on this, so I do random, so let's see what I get. I'm not entirely sure what camo that is, but some of these look super, super clean. All right, so I had a few people tell me that they didn't even know how to boost in this. So on the left, you can clearly see the control panel. So obviously square takes you out. That's a no-brainer. Square gets you in. To boost, you simply tap circle. Oh, this is PS4 controls. And anytime you boost, if you run into something, for example, a tree, it's just like the Infinity Blade. So you get the materials. I actually missed it there. You get the materials, as you saw right there, for boosting into it. So super useful for gathering mats, as we'll see soon. Now, you can also do a Thanos jump. You can do a quick one just by tapping the X button. You can do a super Thanos jump by holding it down. And this is the max effect right here when the rocket boosters start engaging. And this will shoot you sky high. And if you don't push anything, you just go straight up in the air like Michael Jordan. Now, R2 stomps. Now, this does 70 damage, 7-0, if you stomp on a person. And it's got a pretty wide effect. So you don't have to actually hit them just be in the radius of the stomp. Now, as you saw there as well, if you stomp on something, you also get mats. So again, a great farming method. You can combine the boost and the stomp for double the mats, basically. Now, L2 honks. I don't know why this is just to scare your enemies, I guess. This is what it sounds like. Reminds me of a huge semi-truck. Pretty sweet. So now the gunner. Now, these are all self-explanatory. You got 10 shotgun rounds which is pretty ineffective unless a guy is point blank range with you. All right, so more importantly, the rockets. You can shoot one if you want just by tapping the button and then there's a huge reload time or you can charge it and shoot all 10 at once. Look how devastating this is, even from range, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, while you're in the gunner's seat, there's also something called shield overcharge. Now, watch when I try to do it here. As you can see, it says not enough resources. So this takes material from you and I'll show you what it does in just a second here. All right, so right now I have 219 materials and when I push the shield overcharge, you can see that I'm left with 19. So it takes 200 of any of your materials. And that was the visual effect it had, but I'm gonna show you some testing with my partner in just a minute to show you exactly what that does. Okay, so those are all the commands. Let me just show you real quick how you can move pretty quickly. So obviously you can't sprint in this. This is the maximum walking slash sprinting speed. But you can dash, like I mentioned before, and if you keep pounding that button, you can get a good movement burst every few seconds. But it's chaining the movements that will get you the farthest ground. So I like to do this. I like to charge up the jump, blast off while holding forward, then hit the stomp, and then the dash. Okay, now that's how far that got us. Let me try something else. So we're going to charge up the jump. This time we're going to hit the dash and then the stomp. Dash, stomp. So that's a further distance as well. So from my testing, it doesn't really matter which order you do them in. As long as you do, obviously, the charge jump first, followed by either the dash and then the stomp, or the stomp and then the dash. I prefer the dash first. So charge, let it go, and then dash, and then let that go, and then stomp. And I think that gets you the furthest distance. So a great mobility item if you can master that. Now, one more feature that I mentioned earlier is the self-destruct. And as you can see, you can do it as the pilot or as the gunner. And this is going to be extremely handy when we talk about how to counter this robot. So obviously, all you want to do is hit, well, in this regard, it's the L1 button. And we're going to see if it has splash damage. So this does 100 damage per explosion. So if you're in here when it self-destructs or you're caught in the blast radius, it does 100 damage. Okay, so there is a one-second timer so even if you don't want to do it you can cancel it at the last second as you can see on the bottom one second all right so i'm going to do it it 
If you're the one that initiates it, it automatically shoots you out. If you're not the one that initiates it and you're in there, it will not shoot you out. And you have to get out manually. All right, so now let me show you the damage of the rockets and the shotgun. So wood, 150 health, brick, 300, and steel, 500. Now here's the shotgun blast. So as you can see, it does 40 damage per shot. And that's the shotgun. Let me heal these up real quick. All right, so one rocket now, watch this. One rocket does more than 150 damage, and as you saw, it splashed 200 damage on my brick. So I believe each rocket does 200 damage, but let's just confirm that. So here we go again, full 300 health. Yes, 200 damage per rocket. And as you saw, it splashed 200 on the adjacent piece as well. Now, the last mechanic is just a fun one, but a lot of people don't know this. You can dance. You can do any dance you want. And it also has a specific vehicle brutal dab. Here's that. And this is what it sounds like and looks like. It's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Now, every single dance has its own mechanical theme, basically. So even take the L. There's nothing worse than getting bamboozled by this monstrosity and then having it dance on you. He's pretty, uh, pretty flexible for a robot. So I love the robotic theme of all the dances. Now, unfortunately, you can't dance in the gunner seat, so it doesn't even let me bring up the option. It's only in the driver's seat. All right, so those are all the offensive and movement capabilities of the Brute. Now let's talk about how to defend against it and, more importantly, how to destroy it. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how you counter against these. So as you can see, each brute robot has 1,000 health. And as you can also see, the driver is clearly visible. So if you try to shoot the driver in the bottom, it does damage to them. The problem is he's not gonna be just stationary like this. Whereas if you shoot the robot, it does damage to the actual shell of the robot. So if you get a clean shot on the driver, like I did there, you can easily kill him. But like I said, he's not gonna be stationary like that. Now here's where it gets a little crazy. If he goes into the gunner seat, he's got a bubble on him. And watch as I shoot this bubble. It does what appears to be damage to the player, but in actuality, he did not take any damage there. And I'll prove that to you in just a second. So now I'm gonna have him activate the overcharge shield. So again, this takes 200 materials, and now I shoot through it and nothing happens. He's completely invincible. Even with a heavy sniper here, you can see the bullets just go straight through. It does no damage, but again, that's 200 materials. And after the overcharge stops, his shield dissipates for a second. So if I would have shot him there, it would have did damage. Now here we're just testing if it still does damage to the robot itself with the shield, and it does. You can see the health going down. So that overcharge shield only protects the user. And again, after using that, he's completely vulnerable for about five seconds until that shield reappears. All right, so now I'm gonna try stink grenades on the robot, and for whatever reason, it flashes the shield above his head, but he took no damage. No damage whatsoever here, not to the robot, not to himself, nothing. And I can't figure out why these do nothing. And I also had him use overcharge here, but again, it did nothing until the shield pops. When that shield pops, then it does only two damage for some reason. Why only two? I couldn't figure that out either. So with that shield up against stinks, nothing happens to the robot or himself, but when that shield goes down, he takes two damage per tick. So I was pretty interested in the shield bubble on top. So again, if you shoot him in this bubble, it does damage and it looks like you're doing damage to the player, but it doesn't. So what I found out here is that this shield bubble has 200 health. So you can't affect the player until you do 200 health and then the bubble pops. And now if I shoot him, it would do damage. And then it comes back almost instantly though. So not only do you have to do 200 damage to it, the bubble reassures itself after just a few seconds crazy so basically your best bet is to hit the actual pilot and not the gunner because the pilot has no bubble he's completely exposed but again he's going to be moving all around and it's going to be hard regardless so i had my partner drink the chug jug to get full shield and full health here and then i destroyed the robot with him in it now as soon as you deplete the robot's health as you can see right here it automatically spits him out and i had him stay there and it did 100 damage so the blast always will do 100 damage if you destroy the robot yourself like I just did, it will spit him out. So he would have a chance to run away. So that's a bit unfortunate. I was hoping he'd stay in there and not be able to get out, but clearly it spits him out. 
Now I've seen some people claim that the rockets have a homing effect, that is to say they'll follow the enemy and automatically kill him. But as you can see here, I'm shooting just around my target and the single rocket goes absolutely haywire, doesn't even come close to hitting him. If they had a homing effect, they would zoom straight down on his face. Look how close I am to shooting and it doesn't home in on him. Now if you get the crosshair right near him, then it will zoom down straight on his face. But you got to be pretty much dead on with your accuracy. Alright, so the first big way to counter the brute is to simply hop in with your enemy. So if there's just a pilot and not a gunner, you can go up to it and hold square and it'll say jump into the gunner seat. Now your enemy is pickle ricked basically because you can control the gun, you can shoot things now, but more importantly, you can self-destruct. So while the gunner's freaking out not knowing what's going on, all you have to do is hold L1 to initiate the self-destruct. And that shoots you out and he's still in there. So if he doesn't realize what's going on, he's going to blow up and it'll do 100 damage and hopefully kill him. That's the number one method to countering this robot. But you have to get out of the blast radius. So watch here as I do this in a live match. This is duos and I went towards the initial spawn of a robot. And as you can see, there's another team going here. But... I managed to get in before his teammate. And so now I have the gunner seat and his teammate's right below us. And I can easily, well not easily, I could try to kill him right away. Whereas his teammate is in the pilot seat and he's freaking out trying to get away from his teammate. And I am just spamming rockets to try and kill this guy. And then there's another team on my right. I take this guy out and then I said, screw it, I'm gonna self-destruct. But watch what happens here. He takes one step forward and it actually kills me in the blast radius. So you have to be extremely careful when doing the self-destruct mechanism because the blast radius is huge. So that's probably the easiest way to destroy the brute. However, if there's more than two people gliding in on a single robot and you don't get in either the gunner seat or the pilot, then you're pretty much out of luck and you're gonna die. Now next is a more risk-free way to dispose of the robot. Not necessarily dispose of the robot, but get the guys occupying it out. So that item is, of course, the boogie bombs. Not a lot of people carry these anymore, but these are absolutely godsends versus the brute robot so watch here i've got two of them in my disposal and there's a brute as well as two teams right in front of us so we're trying to play this casual because i wanted to actually hit the robot with the boogie bomb so i was trying to deal damage to these guys get them out of my hair but here is where i have a perfect chance to throw that so you can see the purple robot right there i prep my boogie bomb to throw it right in his face and bam it instantly shoots out both occupants and they do the disco fever so how incredible is that? The boogie bomb completely counters the brute robot. And then of course I get sniped from a hill. But don't worry, we get redemption on them. I hop in the robot after this and destroy that guy. So the boogie bomb is the number one defense against the brute robot. However, how often do you see boogie bombs? So if you happen to run across these, grab them in your inventory. Do not let them out of your sight because they're invaluable against the brute. So just to show you another clip here, we were having a Titanfall Gundam Wing battle royale here. And these two were really skilled players, but they sunk my battleship and I got hit by the detonation blast. So that was unfortunate. I lost 100 health and I boogie bombed us all, got them both out, and my teammate mopped them up. And I think I die in the process here. No, I steal his robot. That's right. And then I try to spray him down, but one of the teammates went back in the driver's seat. So I'm not actually controlling him anymore. And then he self-destructs me and I get caught in the blast radius. So that guy used one of my own tricks against me how awesome is that that was the first time i've ever been self-destructed so i didn't realize what was going on it's real hard to see what's going on but basically the robot flashes but those are two great counters all in one clip we did the boogie bomb to get him out but unfortunately i boogie bombed myself and then i commandeered his vehicle and he did the self-destruct effect on me and i got caught in the blast radius because i'm a newbie booby and couldn't figure out what was going on so once you get a feel for what happens when you self-destruct you can realize hey i gotta get out of here all right, so there's one more quick method I wanted to show you to avoid maximum damage. Now, this won't save your life every time, but it will negate some of the damage. So I was playing with my friend here, the number one screen watcher, one of the best players. He's only 15 years old, and every time I die in duos, this guy will carry me to a victory. It's absolutely ridiculous how great of a player he is. And I hype him up like this because, as you can see here, he just killed two guys and I'm already dead and a robot starts spraying him. Now look at his health here. He's got 159 health and the robot has already sprayed his structure once. Now here comes the second barrage. 159 health, one of the best builders I've ever seen and boom, instantly dead. That's how powerful 
these rockets are when they shoot all 10 at once. There's no defense against them. And that's if you try to box up like he was doing. So this was his tactic. He wanted to try to use pyramids, spamming the pyramid build, as opposed to spamming walls. So for whatever reason, I'm not sure why this works, but it does. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. So he put himself into a pyramid and I shoot one rocket. Now when he's spamming the turbo build, as you can see, the one rocket will not penetrate the pyramid build. He's spamming, actively spamming the pyramid. So now I charge all 10 and he only takes 50 damage there. Just kept on spamming the pyramids and even against all 10 rockets, he only took 50 damage. So that is truly remarkable. That will save your life. But again, you still take damage, but it negates almost all of it except for the 50. So now we wanted to test if steel would negate it entirely or if it would do the same amount of damage. So again, I charged up all 10 and let him go right on the pyramid. And again, he only took 50 damage. So what his process is, he's looking down, he's spamming the build button even before the rockets hit. And if you use pyramids like that, you only take 50 damage. Now, just to prove this theory correct, watch here as he built walls around himself. He's fully healed up now, and I shoot the 10 rockets at him, and you can see it does multiples of 50. He dies instantly. So if you build walls to defend against the Brute's missiles, you're going to have a bad time. Pyramids are the way to go. Look down, bam the pyramids as you're being bombarded, and you'll only take 50 damage. And then the robot has to reload, so you got to get the hey batter batter out of there. Chances are you're going to die anyway, but if you have a teammate... Maybe that can turn the tide of the battle if you survive by only taking 50 damage there. So those were the best methods I could find to defend and destroy the brute robot. So number one, we've got the self-destruct mechanism. Get in there, self-destruct, escape, and boom goes the dynamite. Number two is the better option, and that's the boogie bomb because it expels both occupants out instantly. But unfortunately, the boogie bombs are so hard to find. Now the number three option, again, was to shoot either the gunner or the pilot. And the gunner's harder to hit because he's got that 200 shield bubble and you have to destroy that first. And the pilot is super exposed, but he's always moving, so he's hard to hit as well. And then, of course, you could just spray the robot. It only has 1,000 health, and I say only because that's a big number. But if you have a minigun, an RPG, a heavy sniper, even the blue or green SMG, those shred. If you have more than one person concentrating fire on the robot, it will get destroyed pretty quickly. But a lot of people just freak out and try to run away and then they're just in a world of hurt because the rocket barrage will come find you. So there's a variety of things you can do with this robot and my favorite is grabbing mats instantly. If you go to say the block, you can just stomp and dash on everything, get 999 of every material, drop it for your friends, drop it for your squad mates, get back in, get 999 instantly for yourself. It's insane how fast you can gather materials in this. Definitely take advantage of that, especially in a teammate game mode. Drop mats for everybody and then just get them instantly again. Now, if you weren't aware, you can also have your teammate build you up to mountains if you want. You can just walk right up there without destroying the platforms. And then you have super high ground and you're basically a mobile turret and you can spray down on everyone. And the range on these rockets, my goodness, the range. You can shoot someone from cross map and it will do full damage and break all their structures, damaging them in the process, unless of course they're using that pyramid method that I mentioned, then they'll only take 50 damage. So this brute is just super powerful. I could see a nerf coming in the future. If planes were nerfed into oblivion, this thing will be too. Just rest assured and hold tight. I'm sure they're gonna reduce damage on the missiles, maybe even reduce the amount of missiles. They're probably gonna reduce the health on this thing, maybe even the shield bubble, I'm not sure. A lot of people are complaining about this because it is pretty overpowered. Now, if you run into one of these at the start of the game, it's just game over. You can get the best shotgun, the best weapons in the game, but if it's the start of the game, you don't have any shield or anything, and this guy is stomping on you, rocketing you, it's pretty much game over. You could be the best players in the game, and it's still newbie boobyville because these guys will wreck you. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Brute Robot? Number one, do you think it's too strong? And number two, do you think they should nerf it or vault it? I don't think it should be vaulted yet. I think they should just adjust it a little bit. It's super fun if you're in one, but if you're up against one, it's pretty much a bad time, especially in the very, very end game. If there's a final circle with like five to 10 guys left and there's still a Brute roaming around, it's terrifying because there's not much cover at that point. The circle's closing in and you've got the other random squads running around trying to avoid it as well and it's just chaos. But just remember, if you see boogie bombs, collect those, save those because they're invaluable. It shoots both guys out, they both do the disco disco and you can either jump in the robot yourself or take them out while they're dancing. 
So if you find any other methods to dispose of or counter these robots, let me know in the comments. Share them around. We'll share this video around and everyone can have more enjoyment when playing Fortnite against these super powerful Gundam Wing robots of death.